All right, guys, welcome to a quick little video tutorial on how to uh, insert Google Forms onto a Google Classroom, right? Uh, so the easiest way I have found is to come over here to the big old create button, right? And we're going to create an assignment. Uh, and basically, you know, you'll type it in, um, I don't know, let's say this is um, uh, Law Studies you know, unit one, uh, make something up here, right? Unjust, one. right? Um, and so you're gonna write in your instructions here. Um, nothing else really changes. What you're gonna do here is you hit add from your Google Drive. You're gonna come over here, scroll down a little bit, and where are you? It's something that you edited recently, it will be up here in recent, but in my case, uh, I uploaded a lot of stuff, so it's not gonna be in there. So you're gonna go to wherever you are storing your Google Form. You're gonna grab it. Uh, in this case, uh, it's this one, on module two, when laws are unjust, right? Uh, and so you can put it in locked mode on Chromebooks. Um, and that will make it so that way once they open the assignment, they can't get out of the assignment. I typically don't like to do that because uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to work out too well, right? Uh, and you'll see that it, when your students click on it, it'll lead them right to this page. Now, since you are the owner and the creator of this, you're going to get, you know, the edit page, but they're not gonna get that edit page, right? Uh, so our assignment is worth 60 points. We put that in there. Right, you have grade importing on that allows your uh, auto graded test to show up on Google Classroom, so students will know what they got right away. If it grades itself, and then you assign your due dates. All right, let's just make it do today, midnight, done. Topic, distance learning, and you hit assign. It's literally that simple. All right, and then you can see here. This is what a student will see when they click on the assignment. They'll come in, they'll answer their name, um, they'll answer their student number, and then they'll jump right into the topic. In this case, um, my Google form here has multiple sections, right? So they'll, they'll watch this video and then they'll continue on to the next session. All right, hope you guys found this interesting and um, you know, like and subscribe for future videos, thanks.